day. Even, uh, even if it's not. Yes, even if it's not. Hope it's a good day. We're doing bread pudding this morning, and Chris Vogeli from uh, Three Forks is here. Thank you so much for being well, here. Well, thank you for having me. And it's your uh, 15th anniversary yes, of Three Forks? Yes, today we are celebrating 15 years of Three Forks. It's been a fast and furious 15 years, but it's been all good. Yeah. So we're going to have a good day. Guys. And this was something that was on the menu way back when. Yes, we did it for about the first six, seven years, and we've mm -hmm. changed since then. So we're trying to resurrect it. And we're going to be offering it this evening at the restaurant as oh, one of our fun. featured desserts. Let's show so, folks. Yes, exactly. So what we have is uh, sugar and evaporated milk and eggs in here. And if I could get you just yeah, to stir yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, to work. You know what? I'm going to add some of the other ingredients here. We have cinnamon, nutmeg, we're gonna put a little uh, salt, and vanilla. There's sugar and eggs ready in there, like I said. And if you decide, yeah, we're gonna you have go. uh, break up these eggs in here. Yeah, a little cream and uh, raisins. I'm making this tougher. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That's okay. Pecans. Wow, you got and, like, yeah, we got wow, all sorts cool. of ingredients in there. Really Is that pineapple at the pineapple end? Pineapple, and there's some apricots in there. Get all that. I think, you know, that's perfect. And of okay? course, then we have some French bread. Now, the French bread that I'm using here, and that we use at the restaurant, is not a hearty rind French bread. It's more of a softer rind. Now, when we retoast it, it really gets to be a little crisp, but uh, we want something with a little softer rind because we don't want that chewiness to come out into the French, uh, into the uh, bread pudding. Mm -hmm. So you can okay. stop there, Lauren. Good. We're going to add that in there, and I'm going to oh. take this from you. Because we're going to need this whip here for a second. We're just going to fold this all together. Okay. And once it's all in uh, all like put coated, together, all coated, coated and coated, put right? together, okay. we are going to put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for a couple hours. Okay. And then we're going to put it back into this dish and bake it for about an hour uh, in a water bath okay. covered. So we're going to move on. Okay. The hardest part, more. Oh, you know what? I forgot my butter that goes in that little dish there That's too. Okay. But anyway, we'll pretend that the butter. Yeah, is the butter is in there. Don't forget anyway. the butter. <laughs> vanilla sauce, a vanilla on glaze. Okay. I have. I have uh, milk, egg yolks, sugar, Okay. and we're going to put this over a double, double boiler and stir this slightly until it becomes um, about 100 degrees. Okay. Does that make and it a little thicker? Or? Well, it will. It'll slowly thicken up in the process. Uh -huh. And then when it gets to be about 100 degrees, we're going to add this boiling cream and vanilla bean that we have split in two and, and did out the seeds and add that right on into oh. this mixture. And then we're going to take this to about 175 degrees, and it'll thicken up nicely. And that's what you'll layer up there. At exactly. The end. Oh. We will strain it, cool it down. Now, there you go. after we just, just about out of time. So. Okay. Afterwards, after it's baked and chilled, we're going to serve this chilled. So. What we want to do is... This is what you chop up and then layer. we got the final product exactly. right there with the berries. You can We're find this red pudding oh my recipe gosh, you got on it. our website. We have a link to Three Forks as well, myfoxdsw.com. That looks good.